never been more proud of any guest I've had in the 27 years of this television program than I am to welcome as my guest this morning the man that will be remembered as the single most spiritual impacting force of the 20th century. His name is Billy Graham. And I, I first met Billy Graham nearly 50 years ago. I was a student at Hope College in Holland, Michigan, a Christian college. And we invited a young minister who was about 27 years old to come from his little church in Chicago and preach to us for three days. And his name was Billy Graham. And he did something that I'd never heard before in my life. I grew up in a mainline Protestant church called the Reformed Church in America. And we never had what the Baptists had, that's altar calls at the end of a service. Tell me, what do you think is the future of Christianity? Well, Christianity and being a true believer, you know, I think there's the, the, the body of Christ, which comes from all the Christian groups around the world or outside the Christian groups. I think everybody that, that loves Christ or knows Christ, whether they're conscious of it or not, they're members of the body of Christ. And I don't think that we're going to see a great sweeping uh, revival that will turn the whole world to Christ at any time. I think James answered that, the Apostle James, in the first council in Jerusalem when he said that God's purpose for this age is to call out a people for his name. Mm -hmm. And that's what God is doing today. Mm -hmm. He's calling people for, out of the, the world for his name, whether they come from the Muslim world or the Buddhist world or the Christian world or the non-believing world. Uh, they are members of the body of Christ because they've been called by God. They may not even know the name of Jesus, but uh, they know in their heart that they need something that they don't have, and they turn to the only light that they have, and I think that they are saved and that they're going to be with us in heaven. Uh, what I hear you saying that it's possible for Jesus Christ to come into a human heart and soul and life even if they've been born in darkness and have never had an exposure to the Bible. Is that a correct interpretation of what you're saying? Yes, it is, because I believe that. I've met people uh, in various parts of the world in tribal situations uh, that they had never seen a Bible or heard about a Bible and never heard of Jesus, but they believed in their heart that there was a God and, that, uh, and they tried to live a life uh, that was quite apart from the surrounding community in which they lived. This is fantastic. And I'm so thrilled to hear you say that. There is a wideness in God's mercy. There is. There definitely is. Tell me. Uh